So uh, the app that I've built till now, if I just you know uh, run that app, uh, then I just see uh, this on my screen. What I see is uh, this is the Conduit app, which has got this uh, navigation drawer. It has uh, like the space and Android Studio and all that stuff written. There's like uh, import, gallery, slideshow, tools, all that stuff, share and send. And uh, we got this, clicking on this gives me a snack bar and stuff like that. So, uh, okay, what I, what I want is uh, to, um, you know, Get, uh, so get let's start making it look uh, more and more like the actual uh, conduit app so uh, first of all I think we just need this green color there uh, let me just uh, inspect element and see so it's 5c uh, b8 5c so let's just take this 5c b8 5c color and I'm gonna res values colors and that's uh, gonna be my uh, primary color and I'll take my primary dark color to be a little darker than that of course uh, so somewhat like uh, I don't know this will be my primary dark color and we need an accent color and accent color is I think a gray here in my website like most of the things are gray so we we'll just pick this uh, gray color out here for the accent uh, so the accent color would be gray. Okay, so let's just uh, snap that on uh, using the changing color primary and stuff. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, now the colors look a, a bit more like um, like conduit, right? Um, then uh, we, we need like uh, on the navigation drawer, we need uh, some different things. So the navigation drawer works a bit like this. Uh, there is, uh, if you look at main activity, main activity opens r.layout.activity main. Activity main is using a drawer layout. The drawer layout has uh, a app bar layout and the navigation view and the navigation view it's using uh, a, a menu called activity menu drawer this activity menu drawer if i open this this contains this uh, you know group uh, there are these two groups uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, you know first of all uh, get some uh, icons that we need in our actual app like we we'll do uh, you know demo.realworld.io so uh, it shows home sign in sign up sign in and sign up and when i register it shows uh, you know what does it show it shows uh, so it shows like new article and uh, settings uh, something like that so uh, I need to add this new article settings in the username uh, tag there um, Okay, let's go about doing that. We don't need this camera sh stuff and we don't need all of that stuff. Uh, if you want to generate like material design icons, there's a plugin. If you go to like plugins and if you go to browse repositories, there is a Android Studio plugin called Material Design Icon Generator. Really popular plugin and really useful plugin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate a few icons. I'm gonna go to my resources drawables and I'm gonna generate a new material design icon I knew like uh, new so uh, or uh, edit yeah, yeah so this looks like uh, I think uh, I don't know mm. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Uh, so we'll just use this uh, editor, uh, this one. So instead of this, you know, new article uh, one, we can use this. Uh, uh, it just changed the color to, uh, I think, black is fine. I think we'll just go with gray. So. Uh, gray i'll just take a darker gray one like this gray 600 is fine um size 24 dp so we we'll just call this ic uh, new article and this generate a vector drawable so if you're using like any android version above 21 instead of using uh this png files it's better to use vector files because vector files just have high fidelity they look better 
there you guys are using rectifiers okay um yeah we got uh, i see uh, i see new article new article um that's one of my icons that we need yep and uh we need uh, i think in the menu we need uh, like a settings i think settings we do have like already a settings so let's say yeah this is a good idea i see settings um uh, gray 600 all that stuff i see settings okay so uh let's just uh, go to drivers and remove the other ones uh like these that we had just remove these menu items we don't need them uh, delete them and uh, change the menu a bit so my menu would have like home sign in and sign up uh, initially so uh, just to go with this uh, id and uh, title id and title so just create an item which has id uh, from the menu item um, home and uh, it has got like a title uh, so we put title uh, home yeah uh, and uh, just create a couple of uh, more of these uh, things um, so uh, menu item sign in and uh, menu item sign up So uh, yeah, I mean, when we are signed out, show sign in and sign up like this. So sign in, sign up. Okay. Now we have this uh, user title I'm just putting and we will have a menu item, new article, El will I see, uh, new article and we'll have this uh, menu item settings and just have uh, IC settings okay uh, so I just run this and see how the navbar looks like after I made these changes oh there's some error somewhere no Oh, we just need to change all of this stuff as well. Um, so these IDs have been used inside my activity. I'll just drop all of that stuff. Okay, so now it uh, is going to look like this. A home sign in sign up and we got a new article and uh, settings. So I think this looks good. And uh, we will uh, like change the sign in and sign up to i think uh, something like log out or something like that and we need to change the dynamic like when the user is signed in we will only show these items and when the user is not signed in we will show these so we'll change that in our code uh, later on uh, as we uh, as we go uh, and like let's change the color inside the side nav bar which has like this some gradient kind of stuff uh with dark green to light green kind of gradient um so let's say we do like uh the gradient kind of thing i think we can say does this use a gradient uh, so it does not use a gradient uh but I, th I think we can think of a gradient we can think of something like this uh use the center color and uh so what you do is uh, color primary at the center and uh, color primary uh, dark at the two ends of it okay yeah i put a like a zero degree angle at the beginning um, So it's gonna look like this, uh, okay.
I, I mean, I don't know if that looks fine or not. I mean, maybe you can just use a 90 degree one, which uh, make it look a bit like this. Yeah, so yeah, this uh, conduit stuff uh, up there. Okay, um, so you know, like, you know, the color and all stuff changed. Now uh, we'll, uh, we need to start dealing with all the layouts. So we need a uh, need some screens to uh, have like our home screen and the new article screen and all that. So let's take a look at the website once and what screens that we need to build. We need to build a, a home screen which has got this like this global feed uh, thing uh, happening out here. And like when we are like logged in, in that case. Uh, We need to have like these two tabs, like we have a your feed and a global feed, uh, this kind of thing, like this uh, two tabs uh, and uh, there is going to be a new article page where I can add a new article and uh, there's going to be a settings page where I can change my uh, profile settings and stuff like that, okay. So, uh, so what I'll do is we'll create some fragments for this stuff. And uh, we'll start adding these fragments into uh, my activity. And then we will write our API code, uh, which will fetch the data from the API and put it into these uh, fragments, okay? So next video, we're gonna build the fragments.